Julie Gunlock with us once again. How are you, Julie? I'm doing well. Um, let's talk about, should we get started? Should we get started with the yes. food babe? Oh, let's is that, start. Is that what's really yeah, bugging you today? That's bugging me. That's bugging me. All right. So the food babe, um, 46,000 followers on Twitter, 319,000 followers on uh, Facebook. Wow. Uh, and so what? what is, what's the food babe? She's... She's a she's a mother. She um, she blogs. She's you know sort of presents herself as a mommy blogger, um, and she warns women about all these dangerous things in the food supply. And her latest attack is on. And she does. She's sort of a stunt woman. Like she goes. She she does a lot of stunts. She calls food companies, and you know she videotapes herself um, actually going into grocery stores and food and restaurants and saying, "How dare you do this?" And so. She definitely sort of likes the high drama, but um, she's been on the Today Show. She's been on Good Morning America. She has um, quite a lot of star power. She's had her media really? training. Okay. Um, so a you shock know. jock of the food and nutrition world, as you call her, yes. right? Yes. 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 Huh. All right. And so yeah. she's going after Subway now. Yeah. And so what she does is she takes she sort of attacks. For instance, one of her one of her campaigns was against the you know. Goldfish crackers, right? The little goldfish, right. you know, that every little kid gets in yeah. their lunchbox. Um, and she was fat nuggets, really, right? Is that what we call them? I do not call them I that. No, is, she, is that what she calls them? No, 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 no. She's oh. upset because they have artificial coloring, oh. on them, right? Because they're super oh, my orange. Goodness. Well, I mean, you know, yes, fine. That's it's, but she's upset also that goldfish uses the tag all natural, but then uh -huh. puts this artificial coloring on them. And so she sort of attacks these companies and has these companies pull things off of their, you know, out of their, and, you know, again, these companies can do whatever they want, but it's unfortunate that a lot of these companies are reacting like th her latest attack is on Subway, okay. which we'll get into. Um, but they, they sort of bow to the pressure, to her sort of bullying tactics. And this isn't consumer demand. This is the demand of one very loud, very outspoken um, food blogger. Now, again, Bloomberg what bothers me. Her. Oh, yes. Now, what bothers me, though, is that she's insisting, she sort of tells mom these things are dangerous. You know, that the artificial coloring is dangerous. It's going to harm your child, harm your child, harm your child, which is child, which is complete. Yeah, yes, yes. Not as bad Sometimes as Doritos, maybe though. Stain the, uh, the as, jeans. I don't but, know that uh, she's gone after Doritos, which is obviously. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, the wor but her latest attack is uh, is for Subway for using a preservative in their bread rolls. What's this preservative now, called? Now this Julie? preservative. <laughs> <laughs> so dicarbonamide. <laughs> I did it. It's hard to say, but there are a lot of preservatives that are hard to say. They have these really long multi-syllabic multi words right. that are hard to say. And that alone, she claims that if you can't say it, you shouldn't be eating it, right? Well, I mean, there are a lot of things, like important things like B6 and other vitamins. And there are a lot of long, complicated chemical names for perfectly natural things mm -hmm. that you know, shouldn't really scare you. They're actually healthy for you. But the point is, is that this preservatives helps it. it all it does is it helps these breads stay fresher longer, it keeps them from molding. And they're used in tiny, tiny, tiny trace amounts that aren't harming you in any way. Of course, her narrative is that it's dangerous. It's terrible that these companies use this preservative in their bread rolls. Uh, so again, I'm just trying to you point out, by the way, the bread you buy in the grocery store also has this. Yes. Yes, it does. Because when you get a when you get a loaf of bread at home and yeah. I do, I mean, I go through, you know, I go through quite a bit of bread because I make sandwiches for my kids, but I can keep that loaf of bread up in the cabinet for a week and it won't go moldy. I don't need to freeze it. If it doesn't have this trace again, trace amount of chemical in it, it will go moldy and it or it will go stale. It just keeps the bread a little bit softer and it keeps it from molding. I like to be able to have bread out of the freezer. I like to be able to grab a few slices for my kids. I mean, again, the preservative being used isn't harmful. It just keeps it keeps the shelf life of of the bread longer, and this is this is progress. This is great. It's great that we have this this option. Um, of course, her you know. Her narrative is that it's all killing us. It's going to harm us, and and you know that that's really not that's really not what it's there. You know, it's not in that amount. It's not going to do that. Boy, someone should write a book about how the culture <laughs> of alarmism makes us afraid of everything and how to fight back. Wait, there somebody you go. has! Oh my goodness, <laughs> timely and yes, everything yes. from cupcakes to chemicals. Yeah. No, I mean, look, as you say, this is alarmism here. This is and and. It's yeah. it's it's nefarious because uh, people do this. Uh, there was a video that went viral a couple of years ago. A guy asking people to sign a petition to ban 
the uh, you know scientific word for water. Yeah. Um, and people, oh my goodness, this is this is we're drinking this. Oh, this is horrible. Sign right, 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 right. Same concept here. Uh, and here's the food babe with forty some odd thousand followers on Twitter and right. hundreds of thousands of followers on Facebook, who is relying on the fact that you don't know what this stuff is. Right. Right. And it's got a big long name, and it sounds artificial, and it sounds scary. And so, preying on fear and ignorance. Now, here's the thing: if the food babe really was a true foodie, she would be encouraging people to get to know more about their food. Yeah. She wouldn't be telling people if you can't pronounce it, don't eat it. Uh, as you say, the uh, you know technical name, the real name for vitamin B6. What is it? Uh, pyridoxine hydrochloride. Yeah, I mean, the point well, is, is I'm not, I'm not going to practice these words. I don't need to say, I'm not f afraid of big words. And she <laughs> tries to tell her 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 followers that if it's a big word, um, that you should be afraid of it. There are lots of big words out there that are perfectly healthy and safe to eat. Now, the other thing that's really disturbing to me is she's attacking Subway. She's telling moms, hey, you should avoid this stuff. It's got scary chemicals in it. Subway is an alternative to fast food. They offer a variety of fresh vegetables to put on their sandwiches. We should be encouraging. I mean, should we not? Is this what? Isn't this what these sort of these types of nannies are complaining that restaurants don't offer enough healthy options? And here, Subway is. I mean, and to some degree, it's considered diet food. I mean, they have this whole line of, you know, sandwiches that are below a certain fat level and below a certain calorie level. And so here, you have the food babe attacking them for using a common preservative in their bread, which to a number of women out there is going to scare them away from this affordable, healthy option, you know, a, a, an alternative to, to fast food. So it's just frustrating to me that, you know, we're trying to get people to eat healthier. <laughs> and then one of the options out there is to go with Subway instead of, you know, getting a big burger and fries. And it's demonized for you know, a Big preservative bread. in the bread. Big it's bread just, it's, is it's there. Just, yeah, well, you know, you it's can't... It's never-ending, the can't alarmism. You fight the nefarious grip of yes. big dough. Yes. All yeah. right, Julie, unfortunately, we uh, are out of time, but I want to talk... Uh, I want to also recommend your piece at IWF.org, sort of hand-in-hand -hand with this. Uh, uh, Julie's piece, I want <laughs> to save money, stop buying organic food. I don't... Mm, well, we're not selling at the farmer's market yet, so... Uh, I might I'm not offer, saying don't I might grow. Offer a, I might offer a rebuttal later on oh, go in the ahead. year, but not later on in the year. I look forward to when it. When I'm at the farmer's market. <laughs> Buy more organic food, oh, come particularly on. tomatoes. No, I'm saying, no, no, no. Hold up. you got to <laughs> let me respond to this. I'm not saying you. it's bad for you. I'm saying that for people who can't no, afford. No, you're right. That's that the, It's the, more expensive. I can't afford it. The argument is, is not that organic food is it's bad, bad for, for you. The, no. the, the, the argument is that. Frozen vegetables, canned fruits and vegetables, and conventional, and conventional produced fruits and with right. pesticides. It's not going to hurt you. The, the, yeah. That is that you should be. This eating is an article in Slate I'm writing about. Okay, well, so it's not just I, me. Okay, some mm, like some, some Slate. Huh? Yeah, some hanging out with some shady <laughs> characters these days. Julie. <laughs> I'm just trying to. You'll cite anybody <laughs> for you know, for authority. Look at <laughs> Slate. Look, the Slate people. Oh wait, maybe that's Salon. That's right. I'm thinking of. Maybe it's Salon. Maybe it's both. Salton. They sort of they do. They blend do. together. Yeah. Anyway, Julie Gunlock with the Independent Women's Forum, which IWF.org stands out head and shoulders above the rest. Thank, Thank you, you for uh, coming on the program. Thanks for having Talk me on. Talk to you again soon. Thanks, yeah.